Tianzi volunteers have continued to care for the affected residents after the cyclone damages. The water is still receding almost two weeks after the storm. Volunteers have to be careful while driving on the muddy roads. Buzzy is one of the most affected areas in the country. Normally, the rainy season begins in December and ends in March. But Cyclone Idai had brought heavy rains, leading the Buzzy River to burst its banks. Most of the crops have been ruined as well. The residents make a living from farming. While encountering such a severe natural disaster, there is nothing they could do about it. During the disaster relief mission in both Buzi and Tombe Town, volunteers saw most of the houses were destroyed. As we can see, many are thatched houses or houses made of branches. Therefore, they couldn't handle strong winds. At the local school in Namantanda, the rooftops were blown off and the textbooks were soaking wet. Shelters are arranged for the cyclone survivors, but many still lack food supplies due to roads being blocked. At one of the shelters, 44 people had to share one cup of beans in order to fill their stomach. This cup for this cups? Um copo de feijão. Um copo de feijão. almoço ou jantar? Almoço, não tem jantar, almoço. Okay. These tents over here are the evacuation shelters. Unlike others, the survivor is lucky enough to have a pot and corn flour to cook food with. <laughs> For now, we're living here. We didn't receive any assistances from others. Each family only received a cup of food. It doesn't matter how many people are in your family. There's only one cup of food, a cup of beans, a cup of corn flour, or a cup of rice. You don't know what kind of food you will get each time. Just think about it. What happens for a family with many members? How do they live with just a cup of food? Not only do we lack food supplies, but we also don't have clean clothes to change into. When the disaster came, we didn't bring in many things with us. The clothes that we're wearing are all we have. It's difficult for us to wash them. I hope someone can come and help us. The request of the survivor is also thousands of affected residents' heartfelt wishes. As one can see, the affected residents are in desperate need of help. <laughs>